I'm James Spann. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Wednesday, the 14th day of March. On this date, 19 years ago, Birmingham's low, 2 degrees. Uh, today, we're looking at highs in the 80s. Wow. Let's check some of the Skycam shots around the network early this morning. First off, coming from Birmingham. As expected, low clouds formed after midnight last night. It's uh, cloudy. Go up north to the Huntsville Sky Cam. You can see the mighty Saturn V rocket off in the distance, the Alabama Space and Rocket Center. And ooh, down south, it's foggy on the Alabama Gulf Coast. There's a dense fog advisory for about the southern half of the state. That's the uh, Sky Cam on top of the Phoenix All Suites overlooking uh, the Hangout and Beach Boulevard. You can barely see down there. All right, ridging is building in from the Gulf. The storm track moving north. That's going to put us in a summer-like pattern for a while. All the wave action stays up north, and those are highs yesterday. Look at the 80s up into Kansas and Missouri. Looks like a 75-degree high up into Montana. It's just hard to find cold air anywhere over the continental United States. And the good news, the uh, weather's pretty quiet. Uh, there's that dense fog advisory for parts of the southeastern states, and really, that's about it. Convective outlook today, no slight risks, just a couple of 5% areas to the north and west. Tomorrow, a couple of slight risk areas way north of here. And on day three, which is Friday, 5% severe weather probabilities from west Texas north to Nebraska. And this is one we'll watch. This is day five. Uh, this weekend, we could see maybe a pretty significant severe weather setup uh, setting up there over West Texas, up into parts of the Plain States. Uh, that could be a storm chaser's delight as a big trough forms out west. And the rain for the next five days, just not much. This is through the weekend, through Sunday evening, and uh, uh, with this ridge building in, any shower should be pretty light and pretty spotty. Let's take a look. This is the OZGFS, valid at uh, 1 o'clock today. The ridge is building in nicely, and down below that, it'll be warm. Highs at or just over 80, and yeah, maybe a shower, but your chance of getting one will be small. And that's going to be the story for a while. There's tomorrow. Hey, the, the GFS is printing 85 tomorrow. And if we hit that, that breaks the record. The record high for tomorrow is 84. It's more like June instead of March. There's Friday. Same deal. And understand, you know, th there could be a shower one of these days. Uh, no doubt about that, but uh, they'll be pretty widely spaced. Again, we stay in the 80s. The uh, GFS is at 84 on Friday, and again, that's right at record levels. Uh, there's Saturday as we kick off the weekend. No real change. We'll be up in the 80s. Look at Sunday, and look at the big trough out west uh, with the ridging over the east. And uh, again, that's where you can clearly see maybe some severe weather issues developing out there over the western high plains. In fact, uh, down below that, we're dry on Sunday. I don't think we need to mention any chance of rain. Look at the snow potential out west. In the mountains of Utah and Arizona, could be a whopper of a snowstorm for places like Flagstaff. And there's Monday. Uh, you can see thunderstorm potential from Texas up into Oklahoma and Kansas. Or around here, the ridge keeps us high and dry. Tuesday of next week. Thunderstorms creep eastward. Dallas-Fort Worth involved in that. And then uh, Wednesday, big upper low sets up shop over the southern Plain states. We've still got a warm 582 ridge actually centered over the northeast United States. And down below that, thunderstorms setting up over Arkansas, Louisiana. We stay warm and dry for the most part. And just maybe toward the end of next week, we'll begin to see a chance of showers and storms coming back. But uh, that feature should weaken and not expected to bring any severe weather. Just don't see any really severe weather opportunity on the board for the rest of this month. In fact, let's go to March 29th. It's really the same story. Ridging here, trough moving into the Pacific Northwest, and it's the same story. Basically warm and dry with only isolated showers. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. Next video here by 3.30 or so today. And if you live around here, or even if you don't, we invite you to watch us on television this evening. ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless. The first thing you've got to understand, you cannot rely on an outdoor siren you cannot hear those inside a home, a building, a church. It won't work. You've got to get something inside your house. That's a weather radio or maybe a smartphone app. We work with a 
company that's developed a wonderful weather radio app for Android phones and iPhones. It knows where you are, and if you're in a tornado warning polygon, you get the warning. And if you're not, you don't. It's an effective device, and it's a great way to be sure you get the warning.